What's up, my little sloppies? Because, <laughs> you know, electric slop. Um, so today I'm going to be filming a brow tutorial for you guys, so please subscribe. Thank you. So I'm going to start off with my brows by underlining them with the Dip Brow Pomade in Dark Brown with the Anastasia brush number 12. And underlining them greatly defines the shape. So with the Dip Brow Pomade, you want to use light strokes because it's such a heavy and intense brow product. So use really light strokes and I don't even use that much on the brush. You barely need any product that goes a long way. So now I'm going over my brow with the Dip Brow Pomade at the top and drawing a straight or curved line to follow my natural brow shape. And I love my brows very defined so that's why I draw this line at the top because I don't wear any makeup besides my brows. So this really helps to frame my face and give me a more put together look. Now I'm just filling in the rest of my brow with no extra product on the brush, just lightly filling it in, in the little areas that weren't filled in before. Kind of filling in between lines, you know, coloring books type stuff. And blending out, you always have to blend your products out so you don't have harsh lines. And now I'm just relining the top of my brow because it wasn't thick enough for me because there are still some hairs peeking out and I hate when there are hairs peeking out of lines on eyebrows. So I'm just going back over that and blending out as always. Now I'm pulling some product into the front to give the whole brow definition. But I'm not putting any extra product on the brush because I don't want a super crazy looking line thingy at the front. And I'm, and I'm just lightly filling in the front of the brow to um, balance out the whole brow. I don't want no product in the front, but I don't want a heaps of product to where my eyebrows look like crows. I don't want them super dark, but you always have to add product to the front to balance it out. So now I'm doing the same thing I did with my other brow, lining the top, the bottom, and filling in. So I'm just gonna speed this clip up because it's the same thing. So now I'm just adding my favorite concealer, which is the MAC Pro Longwear, and my shade is NW15 because I'm pasty as hell. And I'm just sculpting out my brows with the concealer so there aren't any harsh lines and it's super defined. And I'm just blending out with my finger so you can't really tell that there was concealer there, but I use it to highlight my brows because it brings them out because it's a lighter shade than my skin tone. And now I'm just adding concealer to the tail so I can completely define them. So to be very precise, because you always want a finite line at the end of your eyebrows, so there's an end, because some people just do blobs, and you want to be able to slice people with these eyebrows. And now I'm just doing the same thing I did before, and, <laughs> and yeah, do the same thing. And now I'm going to be applying a highlight to my brow bone with the Sigma E30 pencil brush. And I'm going to be using MAC Dazzle Light, which is an eyeshadow and it's a luxe pearl. So it has a nice sheeny glow to it and it really brings out your brows and gives you an instant brow lift. And then I'm just going to blend it out with my fingers just so it doesn't look super cakey or super apparent. Because we just want a nice glow, not a super bright glitter. 